Hello everyone, I'm Tukon. Welcome back to another episode of the Mountain Blade modded series for Light and Darkness Heroes of Calradia. And today, um, well, I was continuing with the quest line of uh, slaying all the Dark Knights and, and whatnot. And either I completed it or, or something happened. I don't know what happened. I was just, I just destroyed the Dark Knight and was going off to sell my wares, you know, my, my um, trophies of war or battle or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I ran into this guy again. Um, so this guy before, if you don't remember, he basically set this massive assassin army after us. So we'll see what he has to say. And apparently he's starting off laughing. So that's never a good sign when the bad guy's laughing. But uh, we'll continue on here and see. Ah, uh, yeah, not you again, you silly old man. What do you want? Uh, well, anyway, he's saying, you're not planning on doing as I told you, aren't you, boy? Now, why should I? Your men are no match for me. Yeah, seriously, they aren't a match. They're easy beyond belief. You inf inger uh, I cannot speak today. You ignorant infidel, surrender the gem to me now, and I might let you live to see another day. What gem? I mean, I got many gems. <laughs> you know? You think I'm simply... I am simply one of your puppets that you may boss around? Silly mortal, do you consider yourself powerful enough to oppose the one and only Church of Darkness? I'd say I'm powerful enough to beat you and your little gang of outlaws. Yeah, I'd say that too. You know, I have a very fine army of... Uh, Cavalry, and we're pretty good. Anyway, you ignorant mortal, let me show you your tr the true definition of power. The great god of darkness. Going to be attacked by dark magic. <laughs> okay. Our party health drops rapidly. Endless abyss. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is this? That, you silly, silly mortal, is power. Starhorn turns into a million rays of light and blocks the dark mage attack. You lost Starhorn. <gasps> no, I lost it. What the heck? The star horn. Ah, you are lucky, infidel. The horn saved your life. Think carefully. I won't go this easy on you next time. So we just lost the star horn? What? Secret man. You have, like, no texture. <laughs> anyway, are you okay? Uh, yeah, don't worry. I'll manage. But that old man broke the horn. Uh, are you following us? Er, yes. Oh, there's his texture. <laughs> anyway, what, what do you want? The gem? What do you want? The gem? Or are you here to finish the old man's work? Because I won't go down without a fight. No, I'm on your side. So far, I can t only, so far I can only tell you, or tell we must find the remaining gems as soon as possible. Otherwise, we might lose the war. You felt the power on him, right? Yeah, that yes, that evil power. That's right. So we must stop them. Uh, let me join you, and we can look for the gems together. Okay. All right. We just need a companion. We just need a companion like you. Hmm, let's go. Anyway, um, secret man has joined your party. Mainland quest is updated. You got three gems. The words on the star on changes across the sea to find. The, 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 the. Okay, uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to read that later. Okay, so first off, let's sell somewhere. So while I was, let's just pause it. But while I was um, doing everything, you know, destroying uh, dark knights left and right, dark hunters, you name it, um, I had the money that I gained from the um, the tournament that we did last time. And so what I did is I spent it <laughs> on some more um, enterprises in Kara and Kudan. That way we can get some more die works and possibly an extra thousand. And actually, if I check my budget report, it should be in there. Yeah, there it is right there. So it does increase our, <laughs> our um, income, which is nice. Now, of course, we would probably get some more income if we were to take a castle or a city or something like that. But I really don't want to do that this run. Uh, I kind of just want to follow the quest line, you know, being kind of a true, well, I shouldn't say a true neutral, but neutral in, in terms of the politics of the land. We, we just want to, you know, destroy these Church of Darkness fellows. Anyway, so let's go to the, um, this place here <laughs> real quick, this city, and of course sell our, um, our wares, because I have quite a few things needing to be sold. Uh, we can also... I might also need some food. I didn't check. Actually, let's move this up here. I kind of want to use this uh, Iron Flesh Crystal. It'd probably go on my armor. And I wouldn't mind using that. Um, we might have enough dinars for that. There's also this Athletics one, too, which is pretty nice. Power Throw, I don't think we're ever going to use. Power Strike and Athletics Crystal Small. I, I really don't think we're ever going to use those. But, uh, I mean, we might as well keep it on our inventory uh, for right now. So, uh, let's see what our quest has to say, because it did update. Um, we still have to destroy all the Dark Knights, which kind of sucks. I still have to do that. Anyway, but it also says, um, you got three gems. The words on Starhorn changes. Well, I mean, it was destroyed. But we remember what it was on, or what it said. It said to cross the sea. 
we had to do it. Uh, to find the truth, go talk to the mayor of Interior or Wurchek. So I'm guessing, well, that's far north, isn't it? Interior or Wurchek. Well, Wurchek is closer, so we'll go to Wurchek. And we'll talk to the mayor. I don't, I've never seen a mayor in uh, Mountain Blade before, so I don't quite know how we're going to find him. But we'll see. Um, we'll see where we can find him exactly and who he is and all that. Uh, let's just move the secret man up. Uh, we also can upgrade, and we might as well too. Um, what did I want to get? I don't remember. I think it was inventory management because we were kind of needing some of that, I think. Or was it prison? No, I don't think it was prison management. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think it was shield or... Th no, let, let's go for inventory management. We need it. Uh, I mean, we do charisma, athletics. Uh, let's just go intelligence. Intelligence is always nice because you always get some more skill points to use. And we might as well... We might as well put it in surgery. Well... No, let's not put it in surgery, but let's put it in training. We're actually looting. Ooh, looting or training? I don't know. Let's do training. Uh, that way we can, of course, get uh, <laughs> a more highly trained army. I guess we'll just upgrade one-handed and two-handed like that. And continue on to work check. We'll probably upgrade our uh, our companions later on here. I mean, not too concerned about that at the moment. Uh, so how do we... I guess we go... Maybe the tavern? Let's try the tavern first before we go searching all over the streets of the town. Uh, let's see if we have, I doubt the mayor is going to be in here. No, it doesn't look like he is. Okay, then, uh, let's get out of here and let's go to the, well, first off, let's try the castle. The castle is a smaller place to search. The mayor might be in the castle. I kind of doubt it, but I mean, we'll see. We got, of course, lady and we got the Jarl. Uh, the mayor might be up there, but I kind of doubt it <laughs> just because this is the castle. I don't think the mayor is... Yeah, I don't think the mayor's in the castle. Okay, so let's do um, travel across the streets. Um, oh, I thought we had a horse last time. Well, this place doesn't look too big. So we might as well. Well, actually, let me see here. Let me see if I can. Nah, we just start at the same place. Okay, so let's kind of, I guess, look around here. Okay, so we got the merchants uh, in their various respective places. Uh, is that the, that's a shop. Is that my shop? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, let's continue on here and try and find this mayor fella. I'm, I doubt it's the guild's master we're looking for. It's gotta be the mayor. But, I, I, I just, I've never heard of, of a mayor. I mean, maybe a village elder near Wurchek? Maybe that's what they mean? I, I don't know. But, um, I guess we'll first check these streets here. I, definitely not over here. Uh, definitely not the townsman. I wish I could ask the townsman, though, uh, where I might find this mayor fella. Uh, not you guys. We'll check over here. That way is up to the castle. Uh, there's a fella there. I know that's probably the guild's master. But, I mean, we might as well check with him. We might as well check with him. Uh, good day. Um... Oh, yeah, so it is the guild ma guild's master we're looking for. Anyway, I need some bigger boats to travel on the sea. Uh, these are the biggest here. If you don't mind paying more, ship builders can make boats for you. But it will take some time. Uh, I just can't wait that long. Where else can we get boats? The sea raiders have boats, too, but they always hide in secret places. Unless you could find these cunning bastards. Uh, got it. Okay, so, yeah, we got to go find some sea raiders. Not too hard at all. And let some enemies off. How do we do that? <laughs> you know, how, how do we do that? We got to we got to fight some sea raiders and then let some off. How do I do that? I don't know. Maybe we capture some and just let them go and then follow them, I guess. Or what's the main Yeah, it just says that. Huh. Okay. Well, let's try and find some sea raiders here. It shouldn't be too hard. They're pretty pretty easy to spot. We got some des deserters. There goes all my money. <laughs> I don't think it'd work if we defeated the Sea Raider layer. I don't I don't think that'd work. But if we do sit around here, uh, some should spawn. Hopefully. <laughs> no, but seriously, they should spawn uh, from that little um, layer they got going on there. Or if not, we should see some around. Like right there. There they are. Okay, so we got 79. Not a whole lot. We can take them. I'll drink from your skull. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I'm not afraid of you. All right. 
So we'll just do a quick bet. Ooh, it's foggy. This will make it kind of hard to see them. But since we have Cav and they are a very disorganized unit, um, we should be just fine. Uh, we really should. Boy, that secret man, he's got a fast horse. Very fast steed. I wish I had him. Actually, and also, I forgot to mention this. I equipped that um, steel spear that we got a while back, and it is OP. Oh my goodness. And I got enough strength to wield it now. And it's literally one-shotting all of the enemies that I'm coming across here. Now, of course, it is a little cumbersome, um, mainly because it is a big, massive polearm. A very long reach, which, you know, obviously can be a good thing. But sometimes, you know, when you're in close quarters like this, with your cab all surrounding, you know, the um, ground units, it's it's a little tough to get some kills. But honestly, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I really do <laughs> like this this spear. It's so much fun to use, especially when I'm fighting the Dark Knights because they got uh, their dark snipers or whatever, uh, and they just leave them there <laughs> firing crossbow bolts. And they're sitting ducks. They're absolutely wonderful to take out. And plus, it also increases my um, my XP by quite a lot, actually. Um, but yeah, this this fight is is going very well. However, we can't. We need some to not die. Okay, we need some to surrender here. So hopefully, if we kill enough quickly enough, we should get some people surrendering here at the end. I hope. If not, we're gonna have to fight some more, possibly. Unless some people knock them out with like, see that mace that guy's carrying? Maybe. Ah, there we go. Step surrender. Good, good, good. So we did have some that surrendered. Which means hopefully we can let them go and they'll lead us to one of their boats, which would be absolutely wonderful. So we'll let them go. Uh, but let's upgrade our, our army real quick here because we might as well. All right, and let's loot because they usually have some pretty good loot, as always. Very nice, very nice. I'll make a very, very fine price with that. Do not loot and leave. Did it work? It didn't work. Shoot. Uh, <laughs> well, that's probably going to mean that we're going to have to get them routed. I I don't know. I've never really had many enemies route, especially raiders. They never route, it seems, um, in battles, which is you know <laughs> really strange because you'd think they'd be the ones that'd be routing. But I guess we got to have them route, which, you know, you can do that by breaking them, but then... I mean, they'll just come after you. So, hmm, this is going to be a tough one, guys. I don't, I don't know how we're going to do this. Let's find another uh, Sea Raider, I guess, group to experiment on. There's one right there. 101. That's that's a nice number. We'll fight these guys. Okay, we'll fight them, and um, we're going to have to let some of them get routed. I, like I said, I don't quite know how we're going to do that, but. Basically what my plan is, we're going to hit them head on as hard as we can uh, as, as a wonderful cavalry unit we are and try and smash them as hard as we can in order to break their spirits and hopefully we take out their leader quickly and early on. If we do that, we might be able to get them to be disorganized or whatever and then rout. I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see what happens here, but if we can get them to spawn in a new group and then rout, that would be amazing. That really would. But uh, you know, we'll just have to see. We'll see. Uh, we'll just have to see how this plays out. But hopefully, it goes uh, according to plan here. But if it doesn't, well, I guess try, try again, right? Um, but I was, I was sure that it'd work if we just let them go. Or actually, maybe we have to capture them and then let them go. I don't know. We'll try that with these guys. If we can't get them to rout. We'll try that. We'll try capturing them, and then um, we'll capture them, and then we'll let them go. Uh, we'll talk to them and say, you're free to go, and then hopefully we can follow them. Hopefully they'll create like a small power party, and we'll follow them uh, back to their camp. I hope so. If not, then I really, I think we'll just have to use the wiki on this one, but uh, hopefully we, hopefully not. Hopefully we can do this by ourselves and uh, figure out uh, kind of what this... Um, what this is all about now i don't see them routing just yet but when it gets down to like one or or, or two we're gonna i'm gonna assign everyone to follow me and we're gonna retreat here so there's one left no no don't kill him don't kill him don't. oh man he accepts surrender okay so uh unless there's some more to fight in the next battle which i highly doubt it okay yeah okay so what we're gonna do 
we're gonna um, yeah we're just gonna get rid of this i don't know <laughs> should we get rid of we'll release this nord we'll capture the sea raider and we'll hit done okay we are no we might as well loot Ooh, that was actually pretty nice. What is that? Male shirt? Nice. Okay, so, uh, also, we'll, we're going to go sell some stuff after this battle here. But, um, let's do that. Let's go to party. And let's talk to this guy. I swear he won't run away. Shoot. Disband? No, that didn't work. Okay, so we do have to have them route, which is going to be a definitely a challenge. Um... You know what? Let me check the wiki real quick here. Always check the wiki. <laughs> it's always nice. Before I do that, though, I'm first going to quickly sell my items here and get some uh, food as well because I'm. We, our party is going to need quite a bit of, um, I guess, what would you call it? Um, provisions, I suppose, for this uh, trip. And that should be good enough. 2,600 from that. Sea Raiders are profitable. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to be right back uh, with some information. We do have to actually route these guys. Uh, which, like I said, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, um, well, let's go for these guys. There's only a couple of them, so it shouldn't be too hard to route. I just I don't quite know how we're going to do that being a cavalry unit. Now, if we had archers, it might be a bit easier because, you know, we can just pepper them. They haven't done any damage to us. Their morale's breaking, and they'll just run. But, um, I mean, cavalry, they, they should be good at breaking morale, but I'm not sure with, um, you know, in real life, obviously, they break morale pretty quickly. You know, if you're trampling down, uh, you know, all of, your, all of your enemies, it'd be, you know, pretty good. But um, not quite certain with this here. So we'll just have to... You know, kill quite a few of them. Um, and see how this goes. We just got to make sure that they can route. Uh, which, like I said, that's going to be a bit of an issue. But we'll see how we fare. You know, we'll, we'll kill quite a few of them. And then we're going to pull back here, I guess. We'll just pull back to here, I'm thinking. Of course, we haven't killed a lot of them yet. But I think it might be a wise idea to do that. Did I not? Okay, follow me. Follow me. Everyone follow me. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Oh, looks like they're routing. You people, follow me. No. Yeah, take no prisoners. Let him route. Let him route. Is he going to route? I don't... Looks like he's routing. Yes, 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 yes. Looks like he's running away. Good, okay, so we do have one routing. Nice. All right, cool. All right, then we just have to wait for him to get to the bottom, and then we'll follow him back to their yeah, pirate camp, and um, we'll find a boat that we can take, which would be great. Uh, it's just going to take him a bit, a bit of a while. Uh, yeah, it's just going to take him a bit to get all the way down to the end of the map, but good thing that we have a mini-map, so we can see him and cheer him on. You know? <laughs> You're almost there, buddy. Just keep running. But anyway, that went actually pretty well. Uh, you know, we killed everyone except one. And then we killed no or <laughs> take no prisoners. Pretty good. And he's almost there and he's gone. Sweet. So he won. Yeah, and he routed. All right. Now we just got to follow him. And that. not sure how difficult that's going to be. Okay. Uh, follow the deserters to find out the layer of the pirates. Destroy them and get the boats for you. I mean, I kind of already know where it is. <laughs> you know, just saying. I kind of know where it is. But, you know, we'll see. Do not loot and leave. Okay, so before we go anywhere, let's first upgrade our troops because that's always a wise thing to do. And then we'll just follow the dude this way. All right, so we'll just, I mean, yeah, it's right there. I don't I don't know why I had to follow him. It, his, the layer's right there. No, <gasps> there's another one. <laughs> there's a secret one. Okay, yeah, take the hideout. And we should be just fine. You know, we got our Swadian Knights and all of our companions. Actually, I think we just have all of our companions, which kind of isn't the greatest. Because honestly, our Knights are better than our um, better than our companions. Except for Rolf. Rolf is pretty good. You know, Rolf is a, is a powerful fellow. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep my spear out because it's so good. Um, can I wield? Ah, that's... Now it feels more like... Um... <laughs> yeah, now it feels more like... Um... 
uh, what you call it, um, Banner Lord. Because <laughs> I tell you what, using spears and Banner Lord, it's a lot different than using spears in here. I mean, it's not, it's not a whole lot different, but yeah, there are some differences in it. But I'm just going to use a sword. I mean, I'm used to a, a sword and shield. Plus, we do quite a bit of damage, and we can just you know cut them up here, real nice and easy. We shouldn't be facing a boss, I don't think. Uh, you know, because they didn't know we were coming. We just broke right in and are still in their ship. But I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. If we just, you know, take them all out and then and then afterwards we get a ship. I, I think that's how it's going to work. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, first, we got to take out the guards, I suppose. Which, like I said, shouldn't be too bad. We got, we got some companions here helping us out. And, of course, Rolf is leaving the way, and he is absolutely amazing <laughs> at all of this, which is great. And we just got to take these fellows out. There aren't too many. And, boy, he, he is just he is one-shotting them, I tell you what. Rolf is absolutely awesome. Blocking with your head. You impress me. Yeah, that's how we do it, Rolf. Okay, but we need to show him up, too. We need to get some kills here. Nice. Okay, we did get one, and we just got to poke this guy, and then... Cut him across the chest and the back, and then we're good. All right, I believe we got three guys left. Well, no, they just spawn reinforcements. Darn it! I always hate when they do that. Health on our side. Ward of Earth. What is that? What is the Ward of Earth? Never heard of it before. That's cool. Um. Oh shoot, Martin is knocked unconscious. That's not good. But uh, we still got Rolf. As long as Rolf doesn't get knocked unconscious, we should be fine. Just fine. Because he is absolutely OP. <laughs> Especially with his sword. His sword is absolutely awesome. Now, where is everyone? Rolf, I don't know where you're going. Okay, now he's starting to fall. Cool. All right, so we just got these fellows. And usually there's only two waves, so we should be just fine. I don't know. What are you guys doing in the water? <clears throat> you guys got to be coming this way. I really don't know what they're doing in the water. It's just slower. Or is it? It's going the same speed, huh? That's interesting. It is raining on a, <laughs> on a cloudless night. I wonder if this is some bad omen for our trip on the boat if we're going to get massive hurricanes and storms. Perhaps. Perhaps that's what it's going to be. But well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it's going to go. Um, you know, we might face some pirates on the high seas, perhaps. <laughs> I mean, that'd actually be pretty fun. Actually, that'd be really interesting if they were to make a kind of Mountain Blades sort of game, but like pirate version, you know, so instead of you being like, you know, your party on the land and whatnot, but you know, your party on the sea as like a group of pirates, that'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind playing that game. <laughs> I mean, I love this game, but I tell you what, that'd be pretty cool. You know, you go to different, um, you know, islands and villages and stuff like that. And those are like the uh, towns and, and, and little villages and whatnot. That'd be cool. I tell you what, that'd be really sweet. And then you get naval battles. Oh, naval battles would be cool. Um, definitely be different from my cav, uh, cavalry fights. That's for sure. But uh, I think it'd be a lot of fun, to be honest, if we had some na more naval battles. Anyway, um, Rolf, Rolf got knocked unconscious. Oh my goodness, by a looter! Man, you suck, Rolf. You suck. <laughs> I mean, this guy's barely damaging me now. For some reason, there is a, a third wave. I guess. And it's just us left, so we do have to do it by ourselves, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll just continue on then in the driving rain with the <laughs> bright moon. Uh, and for some reason, it's full too. I, I wonder if that's a bad omen too. Who knows? But anyway, I forgot we can run, so we might as well sprint to the end here. Oh, shoot. There's two guys here. Well, one's a looter, so we shouldn't be fine. We should be able to take... Yeah, that's how we do it. One hit. And then we'll take that guy out and slice and nice. All right. We got one fellow left here, and he's a looter. Sweet. So he should be nice and easy to take out here. And one hit. <laughs> nice. 72 damage. That's pretty good. All right, then. So the boats are still in preparation, which will take 24 more hours. What? Okay, so just wait here. I guess we just wait. So let's just sit here waiting. We just got, um, I guess, 24 hours to wait. I wonder if anyone's going to show up, though. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but we'll just wait till nightfall or, you know, I guess kind of early morning. 
Midnight? No, we need dawn, and then it should be good. So let's uh, put out to sea, I guess. The ship should be ready. Okay, so let's get away from this. Layer and put to sea. Do you wish embark? Yes. Hey, boss, look here. A navigational map on the ship. Have you found anything? Yes, it marks an island in the east north... In the east north sea. Wow, that bugs me. I don't know why. But northeast sea from us. <laughs> That's so much better. Anyway, great. Head to northeast for the island. East north. Oh, my goodness. That just bugs the heck out of me. I don't know why, but it just does. Okay, so the northeast. Oh, there's the island. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. See, this is what I mean. We, we need a game like this. Oh, oh, oh. Who was that? Nabar. Haha, <laughs> welcome again. Who's that? Ah, laddie, remember me? <laughs> remember, I am the... I am cloud and ocean is my friend. It's you again, ambush us on the sea. Exactly, see, Navar is smart enough to take the opportunity. Darn, be ready for a fight. Yeah, this is bad. He actually caught us off guard here because I'm cavalry. I need my I need my horses. I need wide open plains, but no, we're, we're on a ship here. <laughs> fight sea raiders on the sea. Ha, huh? you'll never win. Actually, I'm kind of concerned about this fight. But you know what? We should be all right. Oh my goodness. Are we, are we sailing? Can I sail the ship? <gasps> no, I can't. Okay, choose yes for frontal attack to approach the enemy boat and fight hand or hand. Choose no for an out flanking attack to move around and fight circuitously. I don't know. The success rate increases with your pathfinding scenario. Current success rate, 60%. I say we just do frontal attack. Let's just take this dude out. Ha, poor laddie. No luck today. I got you. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just take him out. I mean, look at our guys. Look at them. They're all ready for... Except for... Xernia. Oh, good grief. You need a weapon. Well, <laughs> we'll have to do that later, I guess, after this battle. Uh, I should have some weapons, but I can't believe you didn't have any weapons. You poor fellow. Okay. Secret man successive shot. What the heck is that? But I think we're just going to pull up alongside them and then take them out. Uh... And we should be fine. Okay, nice. Oh, you get some pirate captains. Very nice secret, man. I'll tell you what, you are a great fella. Fight hand to hand. Easy fighting. Yeah, no kidding. So can So how does this work? Oh, I can't jump over. Okay, cool. We'll just take these dudes out. Like like there's no tomorrow. Heh. <laughs> nice. Where's Nabar? I want I want to fight Nabar. Where is Nabar? Oh shoot. <laughs> We're fighting some pirate captains here. We gotta Better take them out here. They are strong. Doing me some damage. I, I want to fight Nabar. Give me Nabar. That gum it. Slice them already. There you go. Take them out. Take them out. And take them out. That gum it. These guys are coming everywhere. Come on. Let me fight your leader. Leaders should fight leaders. I tell you what. Nah. Get wrecked. Okay. So where is Nabar here? Well, I guess we'll go for some pirate captains here. No, no, no. Where is Nabar? Shoot, get away from me. Oh, man, there's some reinforcements. Woo! Ouch, 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 ouch. That hurts. That hurts bad. Get me out of here. Let me out of here. Okay, thank you. Okay, no, go away. Go away. Shoot. Shoot, get poked. <laughs> I'm kind of liking the sea fight, but I mean, I tell you what, I wish there was a bit more. Uh, I mean, we don't have any archers to actually fully make use of a sea battle. Yeah, which kind of sucks, but... I guess make do with what we have with a boarding party, I guess. Which is all right, you know, that's that's all right. I did see someone died, but I don't I didn't rem I don't remember who that was. Uh but we do have some guys getting knocked unconscious, which you know, honestly that's to be expected. We're not on our horses. I mean we're we don't have couch lands to damage, we just gotta make use with our swords and maces. Which is alright. They're pretty powerful on you know by themselves, but would be nice, you know, just <laughs> just to use our most powerful tools, which are our horses and and lances. Boy, these guys keep spawning in. That gun. Can we have some reinforcements? And our guys are just sitting over there. Come on, guys. Join the fray. You know, join the fray. Have some fun. Anyway, uh, I think if we just take these guys out. Oh, shoot. Sweetie Knight is drowning and withdrawn from... What? You fell in the water, dude. How'd you do that? I Even I haven't fallen in yet. <laughs> and me in real life, I always fall in. I'll tell you what. It's pretty bad. But anyway... Uh, back to fighting these fellas. Come on. There you go. Wow, guys. That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> well, nice hit. Okay, we did win. Nice. Okay, but I didn't get to fight Nabar, which I'm kind of sad about that. But okay. Uh, one did die. 
Now let's loot here because, like I said, I need some weapons for that, for that Xernia lady. Because I tell you what, we didn't, we didn't get anything for her. Okay, do not loot and leave. And let's go to our party. Uh, let's upgrade and then Xernia. You don't have anything. So let me see your inventory real quick. Oh no, no, not inventory. My bad. Let me see your equipment. Yeah, that's some pretty pathetic equipment. Let's give you a Bernie. And do we got helmets? We do. Nice. Okay, we'll give you a shield. We'll give you a... Actually, I wouldn't mind giving you this commander saber. Yeah, we'll give you that. That'll be good for you. I don't think they have any... I was going to give her like, um, <laughs> like a spear or something, but I don't see anything here. Okay, so... <clears throat> we'll just give her some, uh, I guess, well, bent javelins? No. We'll give her some javelins. Uh, can she use a bow? Oh, she can use a bow. Okay, so we'll give her a bow and some arrows. That sounds good enough. Uh, and I guess some better boots, too. Are there better ones that we got? No, there are. Okay, so I think that'll be good. That'll be good for her. All right, so let's, uh, let's get going, then, I suppose. And... I think we'll end the episode here. Uh, I'll just quickly get to the island and do <laughs> see what we'll see what happens. But um, oh shoot, there are sea raiders out here. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> that is really cool. Actually, just a second. I wonder if I can go over here. Ah, probably not. Probably not. Let's just stick to going this island. Um, let's just make it there. You land on an unnamed island. Ooh. Okay, so I can't save the game here. All right, so looks like a bunch of runes. Very interesting. Okay, so we'll explore this next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. As always, I'm Tuco. God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.